Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions and welcome to the video tutorial for the LSP High Key Blast Photoshop Actions. These actions are designed for those powerful white backlit or glowing images where you have that pure white background, where the background is lit, where it's really punchy and glowing. This powerful action set doesn't cut corners. It's not designed for those light whimsical whites. Um, you want the LSP white linen collection for those, for your lifestyle and your um, baby images. This is for those really powerful, pure high key in the finest sense images. So think images where you have lit the background uh, like this image here by Anna Brandt, where you have the light really wrapping around your subject. So that kind of that glowing high key image. And you can see the light is really wrapping around the subject. You want that pure white background, absolutely beautiful. This is Anna Brandt's signature style. You will see this a lot in her award-winning work published worldwide. And this is how she shoots these gorgeous maternity shots. Um, she goes to workshops, she goes to shoots, she goes to people's homes, and she shoots this gorgeous high key look wherever she goes. It's absolutely stunning. But when you're shooting backlit, sometimes um, you can come up with a few issues, like you can get the haze coming on your subject where the lights are bouncing back into your camera lens, so the images can look a little bit hazy. You can get this kind of areas being a little bit blown out towards the background, which is great when you have the whites, but when you have some greys in there as well, um, it can kind of, the, you lose that definition a little bit that you really want these images to be about. So that's what these actions are for. It's really getting that punchy, beautiful, glowing white where you're not losing any details of your subject. And these actions will also help as well if you haven't backlit, if you just lit normally and you want to really brighten up that white background, but more so than the LSP white linen actions. The LSP white linen actions do brighten up and add the whites. These actions are for that punchy, powerful, pure white look. So let's get started and I'll show you how we use these actions. So the first thing you want to do is download the actions from the LSP Actions website and you will see this as an ATN file. And that will come up in your downloads. The icon may look a little bit different depending on which operating system you're on, which computer you're on, but you'll find the ATN file. This is the actions. You simply double click this and it will load into Photoshop. If it comes up with choose a program, you need to choose Photoshop. Now these actions will work in Photoshop Elements, but not all of them will. So a few of them you get error messages. You're much better off using this on the full versions of Photoshop, ideally Photoshop CC, which is the more recent version of Photoshop. If you can't see your actions panel, you need to come up here to Window and click Actions. High key, high key blast, tripping over my words, would have loaded at the bottom of your action panel here. You can see the actions in there. Now these are in grey mode. So to play an action, the actions that uh, run have got this little triangle next to them. You can simply select and hit the play button. So I've just selected glossy high key, I keep doing it, high key workflow layers. Um, that's a really great place to start. This will set up a whole workflow bunch of layers here in your layers panel for you to tweak and change and edit. If you can't see the layers panel, come up here to window, make sure you hit layers. Now I like to use the actions in coloured button mode. So what you need to do is come up here, this little burger menu and choose button mode. If they look a little bit all over the place like this, I like to pull the actions out, snap them into a nice neat column here when it goes blue, and then grab the side and just pull it in until it snaps into a nice neat column. And you can also drag your actions up to the top as well, um, rather than having them at the bottom if you want to. So let's get to the top of these. You have a little bit of information about high key. The red actions here, these are not actions, these are titles and they show you, they kind of help keep you where to go. So at the top here, we have workflow, which I've just clicked and that's played out here. Under this, you have a one click style enhance. This will um, affect your entire image. You have a soft brighten and a punchy brighten, clearing the haze, darken the image, contrast boost, whiten, remove a color cast, add a glow, Illuminate, Backlight Enhancer, Rescue Blown Highlights and Rescue Dark Shadows. These will play over your whole image. So for example then, um, which one should we play? Let's play Clear the Haze. So I'm just going to click Clear the Haze. And what you can do with any of these is you'll notice they um, have a white layer mask, which means it's visible over your whole image. You can just click the opacity up here and slide and you see that is clearing the haze down. 
under here you have the paint brushes now these give you black layer masks I'm just gonna temporarily get rid of that um, layers we set up a moment ago I'll show you how to do that properly in a minute so under the paint brushes here you have a light and white in background that you can paint on if your background isn't pure white ultra background this will really really uh, whiten that background up under here you have dodge and burn dodge means brighten and burn means make it darker these are all brushes remember then you have lift dark shadows bring back any blown highlights paint away the haze super dehaze this is for creative cloud only some of these are for creative cloud only um, if it doesn't have that next to them they will work in the older versions of photoshop paint away different colors you have soft skin a gorgeous skin for cc sharpen the details vibrance enhance absolute white paint where you just want to absolutely white something out and then a checker I'll, I'll show you how to use that one it's a bit funky under this you have the finishing touch section add a fill light bring up the lights turn down the lights punchy and deep contrast hazy lighten dazzle dreamy glow and sharpen and then we have some lovely tints these add a tint over your whole image a real signature style going on there so you have warm brown vintage mute rose blush film queen gold star eternal and you can play them all to mix and match down here you couple of couple of um, extras a glassy reflection if you want to create if your subject is laying down you want to create a reflection underneath the action will do that for you um, you have misty ground and then a nice black and white conversion as an entirely separate image so it doesn't um, go over your colored version so up to the top let's get started first i'm going to click the glossy high key workflow again you can see this one's just playing out it does take you know 20 seconds or so to play out because it does a lot of work behind the scenes analyzing your image and creating the right layers needed and when the layers are created you will notice you have some with white layer masks here these affect your whole image and some with black layer masks here a layer mask is a bit like a lotto scratch card black means hide and white means show so we have remove color cast and any of these you can click them if you if you feel you need to and slide the opacity or you can just leave them or turn them off if you don't need them clear the haze i'm going to slide that one up because this image is rather hazy you see there the lights absolutely creates beautiful effect but some of it does bounce back into the lens and whiten up here so if your background isn't completely white if you've got some um your whole image is looking a bit dark you can use that one i'm not going to use that for this particular image so i'm just turning it off a contrast boost always handy leave that on and then we have brushes you have the glow brush so make sure you click the black layer mask for a brush choose your brush from the menu tool make sure it's set to white normal 100% opacity 25% flow what I'm going to do at this point as well is I'm going to crop the image in and get rid of any of the stuff in the background that doesn't need to be there let's get our subject full in the middle there and there we go so we've just cropped that in a little bit though rescue highlights I'm going to play this a little bit on any of these areas that are looking a little blown out and that will do exactly what it says on the tin it will rescue any blown highlights shadow rescue we don't really need to do that it will brighten up any of shadows don't need to do that at this stage paint away any grey areas now this image doesn't really have any greys but if you have background greys it's good for that and I'll, I'll show you on another image how that one works and whiten if there's any way you really need to whiten up again um, a darker background any areas you know perhaps big grey splodges or an area just want to brighten and whiten use that one when you're done with the group you can pick and choose which actions you use you don't have to use all of these layers in here I like to just close that down and you can turn this on or off to see the effect so you can see there just that one action the glossy workflow has really made a huge difference here but we're not quite done yet so I'm going to come on to the uh, one click style enhanced and I'm going to play out clear the haze so you just click on this one to play it appears at the top of the panel and I'm going to slide the opacity up just until I've got that right level of haze clearance going on so let's see before and after there don't need to play any of these I don't feel right now so I'm going to leave um, this one click style enhance section and come down to the paintbrush section now I'm going to play paint away the haze 
And this will allow us to tailor the, um, the painting in really where we need it to go. So I'm just clicking here on the arm and around the front of this bump. Of course you want some haze remaining, you want that glow um, still coming in around your subject because that's the whole idea of a backlit image. But sometimes if an area is lost a little bit in the haze and looks a bit fuzzy, you can use these to just bring it back enough. You also have a super dehaze here, and this is for Creative Cloud, but this will really dehaze. Can you see there? Really bringing all the details out in the subject. So it's up to you how much of that you really would like to use for your image. And if at any point the effect is too strong or you'd like to take it away from an area, you can simply switch over to a black brush. Black means hide, just make sure you're on that layer mask and you can take this off. So I'm just going to take this whole effect a little bit off the arm here. Looks a little dark and we just want to get that balance going out. So we see here before ooh, and after, I've really brought that image to life now. So let's go down um, to the absolute white paint. And I'm going to zoom out a bit. Because this background is white, it's completely white, I can just go confidently ahead and use the absolute white paint to get rid of all of these background distractions. So only use this if you're confident your background is white or you're going to get this kind of... I'm just going to pop the flow up for a minute while we're doing this. You're going to get this kind of uh, white patches. So do make sure your background is white. And I'm going to show you how you can check that in just a minute just absolute white that out. I'm going to switch to a hard brush. A soft brush is good for um, for blending. A black brush is, um, a hard brush sorry, is good when you really need to get close to these edges and you don't want it to look kind of fuzzy or have a halo there. So I'm just going to get rid of these lights. Just literally painting them away. I tend to be a little bit um, Kind of slapdash with my painting in Photoshop because I do this all day. Okay, so you can see now we've used the um, absolute white paint to just go over with white and remove any of those background distractions. Paint on, but just make sure that you are um, that your background is definitely white before you go for that. So use all these tools to get that really whitened up before you go there. If at any point. Um, you're not sure, you're not sure if your screen has been monitors calibrated perhaps, you're not sure if it's definitely white. Play the checker here, this checker action. And what this does, you can turn it on or off to see if there's any areas you've missed. And now I can see here, look, there is some that I've missed. That means I can go back to the absolute white or whichever action you're working on, it doesn't matter. And you can just really make sure that you've got all of those pieces. It's just a handy, handy action to really give you that... Um, that confidence that you know when you go to print these images if you don't quite trust your eyes you can trust this action and I'm just see a little bit there that I've missed okay and you can just turn that checker off you can have it on or off whenever you want to use it especially editing whites I don't know about you but sometimes my eyes play tricks on me um, you especially if your monitor is quite bright you can get these kind of um, light kind of emblazed into your irises which kind of dances around the screen a little bit and you know so if you don't quite trust what you're seeing do play the checker and just let Photoshop check for you. So now let's do something with the skin. So make my brush a little smaller back to my 25% flow. Let's play gorgeous skin for C. If you don't have CC if you're not using Creative Cloud you can play the soft skin it will give you a really lovely effect too. And what this is going to do, it's just going to really smooth that skin, make everything look beautiful. Just going to come in here, just very, very lightly smoothing the skin down. This is not a complete skin retouching Photoshop action. So if you own, um, if, you're, if you're shooting women and you own the LSP maternity and femme and boudoir actions, they're really, really good. If you're shooting all subjects, then the portrait Vogue um, Photoshop actions all the signature newborn, if you're shooting babies, they have actions um, that do everything for you when it comes to the skin. This is about mainly setting that beautiful high key tone to your image. But I have included a little skin in there for you because it's nice um, to get that complimentary glow to the high key um, skin. I'm going to play sharp in details as well. And we're just going to run this over and really get that, that little sharp pop to the eyes, the lips 
any other areas of your image you really want to enhance and sharpen up um, because sometimes even though the image is in focus that sharpness can be lost when you're shooting on a high key background beautiful and now for finishing touches we have um, add a fill light, bring up the lights, turn down, we don't need to do any of that with this, it's pure white, punchy contrast, deep contrast, hazy lighting, a dazzle, let's click on dazzle, that will again just really punch this image out, and there we go, you see before and after, it's just adding that lovely dazzle, and you can slide this opacity around, it just is really whitening those whites, so I'm just going to slide that in there, sharpen up baby, that affects your whole image, that will sharpen up the whole image here, on the right channel, you can see there. If I zoom in and show you, great for print. And again, play with the opacity until you're happy because it really does depend on your resolution, um, whether you shoot JPEG or RAW for that one. So just play around until you're happy. These actions are completely customizable for you. You decide which ones you'd like to play. You decide how they work. It's not final until you say so. You've still got your original image here. Okay. And then down the bottom here, we have the um, this finishing touch section. You have the tints here. You have warm brown. Let me show you um, a couple of the tints. So if you want to go for something really artistic um, and beautiful, you can go for this. These tints here, so warm brown, adds this gorgeous matte, um, very, very kind of warm, but very subtle overlay over your image that can be really gorgeous um, contrast to kind of a stark white. Vintage Muse is really very pretty adds a slightly cooler pinker tint to your image there. Blush, um, Film Queen, Gold Star Eternal, they're all really very very beautiful. What did I just click on? Gold Star. So that one's just playing out there. You can see there it's just really goldened up the skin. So if your skin is looking a little bit over red or purple then Gold Star is a really lovely one to play for the skin. And then we have the Glass Reflection. Uh, but this image is not really one that needs the glass reflection so I will show you how to do that in the following tutorial where I'm going to move a little bit faster and go through quite a few different images with a few um, different tips, tricks and techniques that you can do with the high key blast actions. And right at the bottom you have black and white which will create a brand new separate image for black and white working. So this creates a brand new version of your image so you have two, you have your colour and you'll have this black and white. On your black and white you have brush paints you have brighten, darken, mattify and contrast. Really, really simple, but really effective. So you can just go through these super quickly to create that beautiful um, stark contrasted black and white there. Let's just add some contrast in and boom, we are done. And you can go ahead and save that as your black and white. And save this one as your colour. And it's not finished until you flatten it so you can go back and change anything and keep tweaking and changing until you are happy with that image it does not degrade it does not lose the quality um so you can literally just play and tweak and get that image looking exactly how you want it to look so please do watch the next video tutorials where i'm going to go through um, some other images a lot faster a lot quicker now we know how to use the set I'm just going to go bam 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 and create some really beautiful finished images uh, with straight out of camera pictures. If you would like to get the high key blast and you don't yet have this or you need to re-download from your account, you can go over to lsp-actions.com. Over on the website you will also have a white linen collection and soft pure white presets, they're for your more soft and gentle whites. High key blast is for the powerful images. So I'll see you over in the next video tutorial. I'm Lauren, thanks for watching.